Hey, welcome to another UI audit. And this time I'm especially happy because this project is from Osborne and I reviewed his project in the very first UI audit. And I can only say that the difference between those projects is just phenomenal. And it only shows that if you're truly dedicated and you want to learn, then you're gonna be awesome. So let's review, shall we? Uh, I'm gonna start by decreasing the height of the gradient covering the photo because of course the gradient makes the text readable, but it doesn't have to be that high. So I'm moving the top handle of the gradient a little bit down and revealing more of the beautiful photo. Quick check with the squares if the text on the button is in the center, but of course it is. The problem with the rounded button, however, is that its position is not really the same distance from each side of the frame. So it looks a little bit weird because the roundness of the button doesn't match the roundness of the actual artboard or the phone display. The idea is for the distance from the left and right and the bottom to be very similar to the distance here diagonally. Okay, let's move to the second screen. First thing that I noticed is that the distance for the cards from the side of the screen is a little bit weird. It's a very weird random number. Same as the number in between of them. So it's best to actually use either 30 or 24 depending on the type of grid you use. And then between the cards you can use 16 or 10. And once we get that alignment, it's best to align the fonts to the baseline, so moving the title a little bit down. Next thing has to do with readability. The title on the top card is white on a very light background, so let's make a delicate soft shadow under it, so it's a little bit more visible. The carousel indicator dots look a little bit squished, so I'm making them circle again. Now I'm realigning the insides of the cards to the same value, because having the left edge consistent makes it a lot easier to read. Now let's look at the Add to Cart button. And I'm gonna start with the shadows first. So this is purely an aesthetic choice, but I think that a red button should cast a slightly reddish shadow. So I'm modifying the shadows there to look more red, basically. I noticed that the plus sign is not really in the center of the button. So I'm adding some squares to see where to move it or how to expand the button. So, so the plus is in the center, basically, yeah. The button actually has some decimal point number values in its size and position, so I'm changing those numbers to whole because it's going to be easier to align it to the grid. If you mostly have rounded corners and rounded shapes in the app and you want to have a sharper corner somewhere like uh, here in this button, still try to make that corner just a little bit rounded, maybe one or two points. The bottom navigation has a similar problem to the button on the previous screen. Uh, it creates a pretty sharp uh, connection between those points and it should be completely rounded to match the rest. But this can easily be solved by just moving it up. Now the icons themselves could have been more rounded just a little bit to match the overall style but I'm not gonna be picky so let's leave it at that. Let's just align them vertically and it's gonna be fine. Now for the cards to pop a little bit I'm pasting in the whole image from the other screen but then I'm disabling the image fill and just leaving the gradient. And if you change the gradient to a little bit of pink or just the light red hue it's gonna make the red shadows look a little bit better. And now we can also add a hint of red to the shadows under the card. As you can see in the close-up the left card has that little hint of red in the shadow while the card on the right doesn't. We can also bump the bottom shadow just a little bit to make it stick a little bit more. But these are all minor issues and they're pretty easy to fix, so I guess that you won't be making those mistakes again. And overall, the progress is just amazing and I'm super happy to see that. It proves that you need that dedication and the passion to get better and improve, and it's really possible to get really good quickly. You just need to work hard and it's gonna pay off. So congrats man, this is an awesome project and it really makes me happy to see that you've grown so much. And that is it for today, so thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe, click the like button and if you like the video or want me to do more of those, you can share it or you can send me your projects and I'm gonna take a look at them next time. Cheers!